Replay by uh, Ken Grimwood is a sci-fi novel about Jeff Winston. He's a 43-year-old man who's lamenting his uh, marriage to his wife, and uh, someone kills him, smacks him on the back of the head with something. He dies. He's like, he wakes up. He's like, oh, no, I'm in the afterlife. But no, he wakes up in the uh, body of his 18-year-old self in college. And, uh, you know, at first he thinks it's some sort of elaborate joke, but as he starts exploring his notes and newspapers and friends that all look the younger, he starts freaking out and he's like, whoa, I'm, I'm literally like time-traveled to the past in my own body. You know, what do I do? First thing he decides to do is get rich. So he uh, gets a bookie, has a friend, uh, as a senior, do the bets for him. He starts winning all these amazing bets um, because he has knowledge of the sports and ends up becoming super rich. And then he starts his own company. And we find out that every time this guy dies, he goes back again, a replay. So as he you know, builds power in his second replay, you know, eventually he dies and goes back again. And he's like, man, this is kind of terrible because, you know, I felt really, uh, they go really into detail in the chapters too. Every replay is not like a quick thing. It's like a full on, you get a couple chapters, you get a lot of like, you know, in his second replay, he focused on money, right? So he ended up uh, basically, you know, not finding uh, his, uh, his love, Linda, the, 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 his wife. He ends up marrying some debutante lady, having a, a kid with her. And living a very unfulfilled sort of, you know, marriage because he's part of the upper echelon of the, of the wealthy. So the movie, no, the book, really explores what it means to focus on life. Uh, less about sci-fi stuff. There's a little bit of that in there because, you know, he's got to find a reason why he keeps going back. Uh, but mostly it's really interesting themes of, like, what you focus on, what's important to you in life. That's what sort of gives it this very humanistic edge to it, which I really liked. Um, so in terms of sci-fi, if you're someone who likes concepts, you might not like this one because it's more about like the different sort of uh, aspects that he chooses in the different replays. So it's kind of very similar to the movie about time in 20, 2013, I believe. In that one, the, uh, the males in that family basically have the power to travel back in time to certain spots in order to change their future. So a lot of them change, uh, chase money, but our main character in that movie wanted to pursue love, and uh, so this movie's very. Uh, this book is very similar. Um, so I don't want to get into the plot too much because it was a nice surprise for me. But I really enjoyed replay. It, it had a lot to say about the human condition, about like life and what we what we go for, why we exist, and um, really hopeful, but also really intriguing. So I give uh, replay a four out of five.